Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit by I believe that the people that are Kronos Coin haters are very, very wrong about this token because they're forgetting about one key thing that is inevitable to come into the crypto space in this next bull cycle. And it is a word called FOMO. And we're not even close to it because when FOMO happens, that is when I believe we are going to see Crypto.com's CRO token specifically see a massive boost and the Crypto.com exchange get a lot more volume like we've recently seen from this exchange, which is going to bring, again, more people to buy the CRO token. Let's get into this video, guys. I want to share a couple updates with you on the Kronos token and talk about this theory and why I am remaining bullish on this token and I will not back down off this prediction. I believe this token could go from 2 to $5 at some point in the next bull cycle. Right now, we are at about $0.09 cents and looking for a move past $0.12 cents for a breakout, which could be coming, but we're going to need to see the overall market continue to move up as well so we can get that upside and this FOMO start kicking in. Welcome back, guys. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me get right in. At the current time of this recording, Crow is at $0.09. Cents. Again, I believe we're going to see possibly a 2 to $5 Crow. So yes, over 20x gains on the table for this token. And I strongly believe that. And with the tokens within this ecosystem, I believe there's going to be a lot more gains for that as well. But I want to talk to you guys a little bit about why. Now, first of all, a spot Bitcoin ETF just came out. And I wanted to share this with you. Justin, Vanek, Fidelity, BlackRock, ARK Invest, Franklin, and more are showing Bitcoin on their homepage, guys. The world's largest asset managers, where all the investors of the world go to to have their money managed by Vanek, Fidelity, BlackRock, invest in these platforms and their brokerage account, all these brokerage accounts, when they go to sign in, they're going to see Bitcoin advertisements from the most established financial institutions on planet Earth. That is going to be a catalyst to bring new buyers into this space, whether they're doing it in their brokerage account and buying the ETFs, whether they're buying Bitcoin-related stocks, or whether they're just getting an itch to finally download a crypto exchange for themselves like Coinbase or Crypto.com, like a lot of the retail investors will be doing here in the U.S. and across the globe when people really start to FOMO in. But this just shows you guys, they are... Propping themselves up, guys. The biggest asset managers in the world are getting ready for retail to start FOMOing in and big money to start flowing into this space. And what you see historically, guys, is a up and down uh, patterns for Bitcoin. You have the four-year cycle. What is that surrounded by? It is by the Bitcoin halving. That's coming up soon. And we are moving out of a bear market into a bull market. And eventually, guys, look at all these categories here on this, this rainbow chart. You can see at certain stages in the bull cycle, when this thing is at peaks, we're in these yellow and, and orange and red territories where it's, is this a bubble? Is the kind of the question mark for that area when we're a little bit higher? It's, it heats up more. FOMO intensifies. Sell, seriously sell, getting closer to the top. Maximum bubble territory, that's the peak, you know. Maybe we never get back all the way up to the top of these red bands again. Maybe we do. But eventually FOMO will come. That's why it's on this metric. FOMO comes and that's why you get blow off tops in Bitcoin. If you're not familiar with this and you're not familiar with the previous gains that Bitcoin and crypto have offered in the past, then you're new to crypto and you should subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell for more content, guys. But inevitably, FOMO will come into this space. And what does that mean? That means that people will be looking for an exchange to trade on, guys. And when you look at transparency of these exchanges, people are going to want to use highly regulated players, places where they feel safe, secure, places they've heard about because of advertising. If you didn't know this, Crypto.com has the best advertising of any crypto exchange out there. They have the most marketing partnerships in existence, and they're the most regulated exchange out there as well, which is going to be, I think, very bullish for them in this cycle. Recently, we talked about a story saying that the volume was actually uh, high, as high as it's been since 2022, which is very good for Crypto.com. And actually recently, in terms of percentage gains, had the most amount of money flow uh, in and, and volume come into this space versus some of the other exchanges. It is one of the top exchanges. And I believe when that FOMO comes, guys, and people are looking for a place to go, Crypto.com will be one of them. The volume is doing really well right now. $915 million of spot volume today is pretty good. It has a lot more room to catch up. And we also talk a lot about the Kronos chain as well, which yet 
ha uh, has yet to have a uh, a full bull market of getting attention. Uh, this actually launched in the peak of a bull market, and then immediately after it launched, actually, we hit a bear market, so it didn't get to hit full stride. I do believe this could be a top 10 chain at some point in the future. A lot of people like to criticize it and say it's a dead chain. The truth is, is it's a new chain, and it hasn't had a chance, and we haven't seen FOMO come. We haven't seen new traders come into this space really in a big way yet. We're just starting to see that. And I believe Kronos will be a big player. Crypto.com will be a big player in the future. Not to mention Chris Marsliak's been very active talking about that he predicts a 10x in this space. They've been preparing in a regulation standpoint. And in Q2, they're going to launch yet another item, the ZK EVM mainnet launch, which is just expanding to the Kronos chain even more. Guys, I don't see how anybody couldn't be bullish on this exchange. It's still this like big secret in the crypto space. Almost no crypto YouTubers are talking about it, except for the people that are pro crow. And there's a lot of people that are anti crow, which is one of the main reasons, honestly, I'm so incredibly bullish on it because there aren't a lot of buyers right now. And when FOMO kicks in, guys, there's going to be a ton of buyers, I believe. America's premier crypto trading platform is what it says when I log on, I'm here in the US. But if you're in other countries, it'd say the same thing for you. Let's say that you were over in... Uh, let's just say France, if you were logged on over in France, then France's premier crypto trading platform as well. They do it for you in French. But this is one of the most regulated exchanges from across, across the globe, guys. And they haven't even launched for U.S. citizens yet their actual app yet. They haven't even launched the app. Uh, well, actually, they've launched the app. They haven't even launched the exchange for U.S. traders yet. You can use the app on your iPhone, but you can't use the exchange. I believe this FOMO is going to be a big catalyst because when it comes time for this stage of the cycle to come and Bitcoin starts going crazy and people start buying altcoins like crazy, everybody in retail is going to be looking for a place to trade. And if you go on your iPhone and you try to download an exchange, at least if you're a U.S. citizen, you've got really limited options. You kind of have two options, Coinbase and Crypto.com. You could use Robinhood. There's a couple others. But there's really only a couple that I believe people are going to be using. And I think Crypto.com is going to be a big player in that conversation. I think there's going to be a lot of new users coming to Crypto.com when the FOMO kicks in. And that is what I believe everybody is missing when it comes to the negative comments I see on YouTube about Crypto.com. The negative comments I see on Twitter about Crypto.com. I see there's this thing called CrowFam. People that support Kronos and the Crypto.com token and are holders of this token. It's very strong. And the people on the outside of that don't get it. But one day, I think they're going to look back and see, say to themselves, you know, how could I have possibly missed this? It was one of the most regulated exchanges. They had some of the biggest marketing partnerships out there. They're, they've been very, really incredibly successful. They've got their own chain. They're going to be a major competitor to Binance, whose CEO just is going to go to prison here in the U.S. It's kind of an obvious path in my my mind. I predict a 2 to $5 crow in this next bull cycle. I'm going to stick to that. Let's see how it plays out. Now, none of this is financial advice, guys. I'm not a financial advisor, but I want to give you guys a little update and that opinion, guys. FOMO hasn't even kicked in yet. Little, little bits of FOMO, right? Little ones, but not the true FOMO. Not a true bull cycle FOMO uh, rally that you see according to that Bitcoin rainbow chart. And when we will see people flocking to the first and easiest to use exchange out there. And arguably, guys, Crypto.com is one of the easiest apps to use when it comes to crypto, alongside Coinbase and Robinhood probably. But I do think that's going to fare well for this exchange and this token in this next bull cycle. That's all I got for you in this one. I'm Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more crypto content. And as always, guys, you got to remember to DCA HODL. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I got two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Peace, y'all.